Hello, Dog Bed Tip Blogger here, and um, well, we're on to the second of the Grump Skull Candy Chronicles, uh, part two, I believe that would commonly be known as. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Australian Bounty Bar. Now, WYSIWYG Nutty Joe gave me a brilliant idea for this um, review stroke vlog. Um, she was saying, why don't I discuss um, evolution versus creationism? And um, I, I can't be bothered <laughs> with that argument, to be honest. Um, but I would like to discuss a bit about evolution. Um, and uh, particularly Charles Darwin's theory on adaptation um, in that I have an Australian bounty here and an English bounty here. Now, uh, when Charles Darwin was on the Beagle and they got to the uh, Galapagos Islands, he was catching up finches and he noticed on the, each individual island the um, finches all had a different adaptation to eat the seeds in that particular island uh, going right over to the uh, crossbill uh, which had a bill that crossed over so it could pull seeds out of I think it was a, a pine uh, pine kernels and there's other ones which had very long beaks. They're all still the same finch but over the, the years of being on the island they developed and evolved into particular ways. So and I thought this would be a fantastic way to discuss adaptation. So because basically these are both bounties. There you go. They both uh, have got the same font on there the bounties. Uh, so we look at the outside. This is the original um, English bounty. As you can see, it's uh, blue, with a bit of a white bit here, coconut picture here, coconut tree there. Now, the Australian one, can you see, I don't know whether you can see this, it's a metallic, shiny um, bounty. It's still the same logo. Still a coconut and a coconut tree, although it's more of a coconut grove here. Now, I've got theories about this. I think, you know, Great Britain is a very old country. And, you know, as forward thinking as we like to think we are, we're actually kind of sticklers for tradition. And to be honest, I'm still smarting a little bit from when they took the, there was a little Carb a waxed cardboard sleeve thing that used to be inside the uh, bounty bar to keep it protected. Uh, they don't you have that anymore. I still hanker after the days when there was that little tray in there. And I think, you know, this is, you know, for the traditionalist, you know, people in Great Britain, they don't like stuff to be changed too much. Uh, so this is still pretty traditional. Um, anyone in England will know this is a bounty bar. Whereas Australia, it's a newer country, it's kind of a little bit more brash. It needs, you know, to attract people to buy their product, they need the shiny, sparkly, it's the taste of paradise. Let's see, ooh, this, these no longer have the taste of paradise written on them. That's a crazy thing to notice. So these are still the taste of paradise, whereas these aren't. Perhaps, you know, in England, we are a little bit grey, to be honest. Uh, you know, the Mexicans invented the Mexican wave, which is very exciting. I think there would be the British shrug. Uh, the Chinese invented the, the fortune cookie, a small little cookie with a, for, a fun fortune inside it. And I think the English would have, if they'd had the chance, would have invented the gas bill pork pie. Now, if you know which comedian I stole that joke from, answers down in the comments below. But anyway, um, let's get on with it. So basically, the, the, 
the English one does seem a bit bigger, a bit sturdier. Um, also, something I've noticed, you know, this is just a coconut tree on the uh, on the end here, whereas this, it kind of looks like it has a a whole coconut um, forest. What do you call a collection of coconut trees? A shy of a shy of coconut trees. And um, I think this might be because in England we don't see many coconut trees, so we can we'll be excited by one. Whereas in Australia, you know, they they that, people see coconut trees, they know what they look like. You need to see more than one on a on a chocolate bar to be interested. So shall we shall we get into the guts and take apart the uh, the bounty? Here it goes. Oh. Is getting in here. This is, of course, a milk chocolate bounty. Personally, I go with the dark chocolate ones, which are red. They're 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 my favourites, and they're also vegan, oh, which is uh, very good. But anyway, this is the milk chocolate one. Here you go. Um, this is the English bounty. There. Yeah, I know what they look like. You, no, you might not. And let's see what the difference is. Oh, there's a very difference in opening. Let's have a look. Oh, well, that's interesting. I think you'll find, you'll agree. I don't have a theory for this yet. I've not been able to think about it. But uh, there is um, heavier rippling on the top of the English bounty, um, whereas the Australian bounty is a little smoother. Um, Again, shiny on the inside. This one is just uh, plasticky on the inside, the English one. Let's have it. Oh, now, that, that, is, that is crazy. I'm going to have to get up and show you this quite close up. Okay. On the bottom of the bounty bar, the, the UK bounty bar, it's got... It's got bounty and a picture of a coconut tree. Whereas the Australian one just has a standard bottom of uh, chocolate bar zigzags. Now I'm, I'm, I'm building up theory in my head, these differences of the chocolate, uh, because Australia is quite a hot country. Um, I had an Australian friend who said at certain times of year you couldn't get chocolate biscuits where he was living because they just melt. So I wonder whether this, the, the, the smoother chocolate is about, you know, keeping as much of the chocolate on there as possible. If this, with this one having all its ridges, it would stick on the inside, that, that wouldn't work. Maybe that's perhaps the evolution. Right, I will... Um, I'm going to take the one, a bite, the standard bite from the ordinary. Yep, that's the boundary bar. Coconut, milk chocolate. I know where that's at. Now let's go for the Australian one. Just got to clear my palate a little bit. All the coconut. That's one of the problems with coconut. It kind of sticks to the roof of your mouth. No, oh, no, don't say anything about pubes. Um, Okay. 
Now, that's, that's, there, there is something different. Let's have a, another close-up between Australian, British, or United Kingdoms, GB, whatever, UK. I think the actual coconut mixture in this one is a bit sweeter and a bit thicker compared to the Australian one where it's a bit lighter. So that's, that's quite interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, it's slightly more coconutty this one, I think. Whereas the English one, I think is a bit sweeter. Yes. There's a slight difference. Yeah, I think this. Hmm, that's very difficult to say. There's a slight difference, not a big difference in flavour. I think it's more about presentation is the difference. The evolution of the bounty bar from England to Australia is more about presentation than flavour.